Hello, I'm here to tell you how to set up your tagging master for a race day. First thing you do is you set the wind dial in ex at exactly the space between the red and the green one. This is, uh, we use that later for uh, finding the advancings of the starting line. Then you unlock the red lock ring. You find out where the wind is. Let's say, uh, to make it easy, that uh, uh, we dial the wind, we, we check the wind and it's directly north. Then I change the compass ring here to directly north. Next thing you do is find out where the top mark is. Let's say the committee boat has put this top mark in 20 degrees. Then you unlock, you lock the red lock ring. This is very important. Now I have the, uh, the wind in north. I have the first mark in 20. Now I want to find out the advantage of the starting line. When I have the wind in north, then if I sail along the starting line um, from the committee boat to the to the leeward mark, I know it has to be directly 270 to be straight. If the wind is 200, uh, the, the line is 280, then I know that there are plus 10 degrees on the red side, which means the the, the, the port side. If I'm sailing 260. Then it's minus 10 degrees uh, advantage down here, then there will be 10 degrees up here. Always use this for, for that. Then I go to sail the first upwind. I have these courses to help me to find out if the wind is high or if it's low. Um, let's say that my boat is, is exactly like shown here, that we are sailing 45 degrees, degrees to the wind normally. If I'm sailing uh, under this, then I, I, I know I have a header. If I'm I'm sailing uh, uh, higher angles here, then I know I, I'm, I'm, I'm on, a, on a lift. When I round the top mark, then I know exactly the direction to the bottom mark, uh, which here will be uh, 200 degrees, which is uh, 20 degrees off uh, the wind. Then I know that I actually have to start uh, to sail starboard, because this will be the closest uh, angle to, to the bottom mark. But I also have my normal angles here, uh, downwind. Now when I round the top mark again, let's say the wind has shifted on, on, on the downwind, and I'm actually pointing now uh, 60 degrees on port tack, then I can actually easily change this to 60 degrees. So I know my new course on starboard, I know my new, new angles downwind, and I still have the, 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 the correct course to the bottom mark, and the top mark. I use my tagging master before the race, during the race and after the race. Before the race I use it to gather all my, my, my intel. You can say I need to uh, find out where the wind is, what my angles are on starboard tack, port tack, downwind, direction to the first mark. In the old days I, I was writing all these things with a marker on, on my boat. Uh, now I have it all in uh, on my arm. During the race I use it to keep track, am I high, am I low, what's the closest course to the, to the mark. Uh, after the race I use it to remembering what happen, happened with the wind during the day. Was it going left, was it going right, did it just shift between 20 degrees right or left, or what happened. That makes me much more clever next time I go out to anywhere.